This is Tom and Paula Grace from Light of Christ Radio with a story from our series entitled God Breaks In. As we consider the first year of Jesus' ministry, we begin to understand how God breaks into our lives. You're welcome to watch this video simply for the story, or you can use it as the basis of a small group study. The small group study instructions are below the video in the More section. Today's story is about Jesus' rejection at Nazareth from Luke 4, verses 14 through 30. Well, Paula, as we begin our conversation today, let's look at the context of our story. The baptism of Jesus and his overcoming temptation prepared him as he began his earthly ministry. Jesus has begun to gather disciples and has had a conversation with Nicodemus and the woman at the well. He had been in the area of Judea, but persecution was starting even then. After John the Baptist was arrested, Jesus preached the good news and that the kingdom of God was near. People were to repent and believe the good news, and we assume Jesus began to perform miracles even though not all were recorded, which brings us to a story from the Word of God. Then Jesus returned to Galilee, filled with the Holy Spirit's power. Reports about him spread quickly through the whole region. He taught regularly in their synagogues and was praised by everyone. And when he came to the village of Nazareth, his boyhood home, he went as usual to the synagogue on the Sabbath and stood up to read the scriptures. The scroll of Isaiah the prophet was handed to him, and he unrolled the scroll and found the place where this was written. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim that the captives will be released, that the blind will see, that the oppressed will be set free, and that the time of the Lord's favor has come. He rolled up the scroll, handed it back to the attendant, and sat down. All eyes in the synagogue looked at him intently, and then he began to speak to them. The scripture you've just heard has been fulfilled this very day. Everyone spoke well of him and was amazed by the gracious words that came from his lips. How can this be, they asked. Isn't this Joseph's son? Then he said, you will undoubtedly quote me this proverb, physician, heal yourself, meaning do miracles here in your hometown like those you did in Capernaum. But I tell you the truth, no prophet is accepted in his own hometown. Certainly, there were many needy widows in Israel in Elijah's time when the heavens were closed for three and a half years and a severe famine devastated the land. Yet Elijah was not sent to any of them. He was sent instead to a foreigner, a widow of Zarephath in the land of Sidon. And many in Israel had leprosy in the time of the prophet Elisha. But the only one healed was Naaman, a Syrian. And when they heard this, the people in the synagogue were furious. Jumping up, they mobbed him and forced him to the edge of the hill on which the town was built. They intended to push him over the cliff, but he passed right through the crowd and went on his way. And this is a story from the Word of God. If you're using this video for a small group application, after watching this video, try retelling the story from what you have heard. Then read the text. Discussion questions are below the video in the More section. We hope you'll discover something from this story to apply to your everyday life. May you be blessed.